Hello and welcome to Fireside History. I'm Joe. Today we finally get started on the actual reign of a Hattic king, or in this case, pre-Hittite uh, king. Well, technically two kings, Pithana and Anida. Pithana is noted as having conquered Kanish, which became an important city within the kingdom of Kusara. And during his own reign, Anida, because uh, after Pithana died, his son Anida succeeded. And Anida defeated Huzia, a uh, king of Zalpuwa, or Zalpuva, and a king by the name of Piusti. And he then conquered the capital of this king and proceeded to do a bit of biological warfare, sowing the ground with seeds, and then he laid a curse on the site. A curse that evidently did not worry Anita's successors, as, well, they proceeded to kind of colonize that city and rebuild it into their own capital, the capital city of Hattusha, with the text uh, of Anita being the key primary source of the time period, well, of Anita's reign and accomplishment. Now, it is a integral document in the learning of uh, Hittitology. And the our very understanding of how these uh, people functioned and fought and behaved can be seen in this text as the fact that Anita sowed uh, weeds into the ground of the city suggests that the Hittites were knowledgeable of how to uh, discourage uh, well, fertility in an area, which the no the knowledge of biological warfare suggests a sophisticated mindset towards warfare. Because if you can prevent anyone from growing crops in that area, there's no reason for those people to continue to live there. Uh, or to come back to it after you chase them away. As to as to the actual conquest, well, these were warrior people. So we can derive that understanding from it. Now, the curse suggests that there was a belief that the spiritual and the physical were interwoven, but they also needed to be used to back each other up. As planting the weeds is not enough. You need to also curse the land and the people there um, who live there. And this curse was probably much more discouraging for some than for the conquered than the conquerors to an extent. But the fact that the conquerors later came to colonize that city and claim it as their own is rather fascinating as it suggests a certain real politic mindset to the Hittites. That while they are religious, there was a certain acceptance that this could not get in the way of the practical reality of empire, so to speak. Or, in this case, of just kingdom. Now, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. And stay tuned for the next episode of Fireside, Fireside History.